Hey, welcome back. Um, yesterday, I, uh, I made comments about the, uh, about the uh, cowl cover, and I said, well, one part was broken and one part was missing. Uh, the missing part, that's, uh, that's a job for uh, quality control, and I don't know exactly what happened there, but, uh, but these, these parts seem to, uh, seem to be a good fit. That's the one that was missing. It seemed to be a good fit, so it's hard to say why it came off or what, why it lost. But, uh, but anyway, that's a quality control issue, and I don't get into that. So let's look at the two parts that, or the part that, that broke. So this right here, if you can zoom in as tight as you can, this is the part that, uh, that failed um, inside the, uh, inside the uh, uh, driver's side uh, fender. So we look at it and we see that the, um, this is gonna be very difficult to see, but right here is the joining point. And if you look on this one, you can see that that joining point is very, very fragile. It's got almost uh, no uh, land left. The, um, the, uh, the land is also undercut, which means that it's gonna be a stress riser. So this isn't really something that's gonna be uh, what I would classify as uh, um, uh, safe, if you like, or, or uh, robust enough to, to, take, uh, to take the assembly process. It's very, very, very complicated. So I'm, what Monroe & Associates really does is not so much to tear cars apart and cost them and then, uh, you know, saying, yeah, 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 you, you didn't do your job properly. Our job really is to find these kinds of things for our customers and then go back and uh, show them how maybe they could get around uh, some of the problem that, uh, that they have. So let's, uh, let's talk about uh, some free consulting for, uh, for Tesla. So this part, as far as I'm concerned, is gonna be kind of expensive. It weighs uh, 0.004 of a gram, or sorry, uh, a kilogram. And, um, and I, uh, I was gonna thinking that what we should do is try and replace it. Now, the closest replacement that I have so we have tons of boxes of these things. <clears throat> and it, the closest replacement I could find wasn't the right gap. So uh, I made a new gap. So this would work in, in this way. The, uh, the, the back side of this would slide into the slot that they've got already in the fender. And then this component would go inside the, uh, the tongue that they've already got here. And you can see that it really, it would be a piece of cake. This material is very slick, and so popping that in would be absolutely easy for the operator, but it won't come out. The objective here is to make it so that it's easy in and difficult out, and we've got a really good application here for that. The, the tongue is perfect. There's nothing we'd have to do to the tongue. All we'd have to do is maybe take a, one of these uh, metal clips, a Tinnerman clip, change it around a little bit, snap it in, and we're done. So I don't want anybody to get the impression that all we're gonna do is slam Tesla. In this particular report, what we're gonna do is find out what went wrong and what can be done to, uh, to fix it. Um, last time we looked at the Tesla Model 3. I don't think it was publicized too much, but we, we gave the Tesla uh, an Excel sheet that we said, if you do these things, you'll save this much money. And those things were approximately 250 ideas that, uh, that we shared with Tesla uh, to uh, make sure there was no hard feelings. Anyway, so here's our little vignette for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we'll probably be looking at starting to take off doors and things like that so we can get it ready for uh, the main assembly, or disassembly, I should say. Anyway, have a great day, stay safe. Oh, I've got one other thing. I did something in a store today that uh, came uh, just by chance. Um, I bought something and it was uh, $19.01. And, uh, and when, the, when the lady said, started counting out the 99 cents, I said, uh, why don't you just keep the change? And, uh, and, and I don't know why I said it, but when I got done, I gathered up my groceries and, uh, and I started moving away. And the lady behind me said, that's a really good idea. And uh, she also had like 50 cents or something. Anyway, the three people that were in back of me probably donated something like, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 
four or five bucks in, uh, in a span of a few minutes. Maybe this is something that should catch on. Why don't we all just let the, uh, the people behind the counter keep the change as a, a little tip to say thank you in this nasty time. Thank you at all for uh, all of you for, uh, for, sh for sharing, uh, sharing your time on here. And I hope, that, uh, I hope that we can all stay safe and soon this will be over. Thanks and have a great day. Bye now.